Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jason here with a tutorial on mixing and mastering. I told a lot of people that I would start doing this for those who wanted to start learning about mixing and things like that. And I will give a disclaimer. Um, if you're not already into it um, and you don't have a lot of time, don't even worry about it because this takes up so much time and it takes so much time to learn. But for those that are willing to put the time in and want to learn uh, different techniques and tips like that, um, here we go. Uh, what we're doing today is we're working on a track from uh, a young lady by the name of Lil Lala in California. She's a rapper and a singer. Um, and um, what I'm doing now is I'm showing you how to use this seven band EQ to clean up vocals. Um, the stock plugin with Pro Tools, I'm using Pro Tools 12, but you can take this same technique and apply it to any uh, DAW that you're working with, whether it be Logic, Pro Tools, Cubase, different things. They all have an, a certain EQ in there that you can use and it'll have similar features, if not the same types of features. Uh, so the first thing that we're doing is we're trying to clean up the muddiness in the vocal. Uh, her vocals are actually coming through pretty good, but um, I still want to get out all of that noise or frequency that's not supposed to be there. So normally what I do is I turn on the seven band EQ and this isn't how I do it. I'm just showing you. Normally I would go ahead and add my buses and do my sends and things like that. But I'm just showing you what you could do here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I know the audio is a little rough. Uh, because I'm recording through my internal mic, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I do and then I'm going to play a sample of the song unmixed and then at the end of the video I'm going to play a sample of the song completely mixed and mastered. So right here what I'm doing is I'm working on cutting and basically I'm cutting out frequencies that I don't need on this particular track and I do this for every track whether it's uh, uh, drums, uh, kicks, snare, hi-hats, vocals, uh, pianos, whatever the case is, I find out what frequencies need to be there, what frequencies don't need to be there, and the ones that don't need to be there, I cut them out and um, go from there. So most times what people do is immediately they run to this high end or this high pass filter. And that's what you want to do most times when you hear it because when you record in, it still sounds muddy, it still sounds low, you know, um, and you want to get that crisp sound, but you can still get that crisp sound by cutting out the lower frequencies and the frequencies in the mids that don't need to be there. So normally I turn on my high pass filter, which is this button right here. I turn it on. I normally turn my Q to, I keep it at six or 12. And then I usually can get away with doing 80 to a hundred, um, even sometimes to 50, or whatever depending on the person's voice but I don't want to sweep it too much because sometimes it can become like a telephone effect or it can get too thin and sometimes if I do it enough it can become inaudible and I'll show you what I mean so if I move my frequency back down to 20 Hertz and I and I trigger this the preview you'll see as I start to sweep the audio will change so let's try it yeah, they call me the black sheep because I'm out my business. Grind for the kingdom, Mike, with a spotty living. So, I don't want it all the way to the right, to the left. I don't want it all the way to the right. I don't even want it halfway between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. I want to find a sweet point to where the audio starts to change a little bit, but not so much because that means that I've cut out everything that my ear cannot hear, if that makes any sense. So we're going to try. Yeah, they call me the black sheep because I'm out my business. Grind for the kingdom, Mike, rip was finally living. Building the empire, standing up for the Messiah and every bar that I speak. Rings in the air, Lord, take me higher. I'm flipping like never before. Star Wars strike back as my Bible, my claw. Diminishing haters, one bar to the jaw. Knock them out for the king of... Okay, so I did mine at 144.4. You know, 150, 140. Um... I could possibly get away with putting it at about 180. Yeah, they call me the black sheep because I'm out my business. Grind for the kingdom, Mike, rip was finally living. Building the empire, standing up for the Messiah, and every bar that I speak rings in the air, Lord, take me higher. I could get away with it at 210, but it's just sweeping it and trying to find that sweet spot. So I'm going to put it back at about 144 just for the sake of the argument. 
Now, here's one trick that I do a lot of times is I find out what are those points that are irritating in the vocal that don't need to be there that you can't tell until you tweak things a certain way. So normally what I do is um, we're going to start with this low mid, low mid filter. I turn my cue all the way up to 10. And then I turn my gain all the way up. And then I sweep my frequency from right to left. And I'm looking for a specific noise. It's like a ringing, almost a hollow ringing noise. And I see where that noise is. And once I find it, then I turn my cue down to the point where it sweeps to all of those frequencies that are ringing. And then I turn my gain down and cut it out. I don't turn it completely down, but I turn it enough to cut it because once you start cutting things completely, the vocal becomes thin again. So let's try it. Yo, they call me the black sheep because I'm on my business. Grind for the kingdom, Mike Rick was finally living. Building the empire, standing up for the Messiah, and every boy that I speak rings in the air, no take me higher. I'm flipping like never before. Star Wars strike back as my Bible, my claws diminishing haters. One bar to the jaw, knock them out for the king of the law, leave them in awe. You could tell me, chick, stay in your place. I can't help it. Have me your mic, yo, I spit in your face. Go hard for the Lord till I leave this place. My heart's for the souls I tattoo my faith. Ha, yo, they call me the black. Okay, so as you can see, even though I heard some ringing here in this area, maybe around between 500 hertz and 1,000 kilohertz, I did it here. And the reason being is because I still have three more points that I can use to cut out those other frequencies. So I'll turn that one off for the time being. I'll move to the mid filter, do the same thing, turn it up. Yo, they call me the black sheep because I'm out my business. Grind for the kingdom, Mike Rick was finally living. Building the empire, standing up for the Messiah. And every bar that I speak rings in the air, no take me higher. I'm flipping like never before. Star Wars strike back as my rival, my claws diminishing haters. One bar to the jaw, knock them out for the king of the law, leave them in awe. You could tell me, chick, stay in your place. I can't help it. Have me your mic, yo, I spit in your face. Go hard for the Lord till I leave this place. My heart's for the... Yo, they call me the black sheep because I'm out my business. Grind for the kingdom, Mike Rick was finally living. Building the empire, standing up for the Messiah. And every bar that I speak rings in the air, no take me higher. I'm flipping like never before. Star Wars strike back as my rival, my claw, diminishing haters. One bar to the jaw, knock them out for the king of the law, leave them in awe. You could tell me, chick, stay in your place. I can't help it. Have me your mic, yo, I spit in your face. Go hard for the Lord till I leave this place. My heart's for the souls I tattoo my faith. Ha, yo, they call me the black sheep because I'm out my business. Grind for the kingdom, Mike Rick was finally living. Building the empire, standing up for the Messiah. And every bar that I speak rings in the air, no take me higher. I'm flipping like never before. Star Wars strike back as my rival, my claws diminishing haters. One bar to the jaw, knock them out for the king of the law, leave them in awe. All right. So this is tutorial number one. Um, one thing that I've learned is it's a lot of small things that. See, how can I say it? Uh, at the beginning of the video, I believe I said that less is more. So it's a lot of small things that make a big difference at the end of your mix. So even though this doesn't sound like it did a whole bunch once you add it on to your actual EQ, uh, and then you tie that in with the compression and different things of that nature, um, it makes a huge difference and it cleans up the vocals so much. Uh, now I will say, do not take these settings here and use them as your own. And the reason being is because this setting here is just a quick setting that I did, just a quick run through of what I did uh, of cleaning up the low end and the muddiness and rolling off the frequencies on Lala's particular voice. So if you deal with someone whose voice is deeper, has more bass in it, um, or someone's voice who's a little bit more higher or pitchy, these aren't going to work so well. Um, so you just have to find those sweet points in it. So uh, I hope this video here helps you out a little bit. Um, the next video I'll be showing some of the plugins that I use and how I actually 
tweak everything to make it sound the way that I normally get them to sound when I'm done mixing and mastering. So um, I thank you for your time watching the video. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe uh, to the channel. We'll be uploading multiple videos uh, and different tips like that throughout the weeks and months and over time and everything. So thank you again. Yo, yeah, they call me the black sheep cause I'm out my business Grind for the kingdom, Mike Ripper's finally living Building an empire, standing up for the Messiah And every bar that I speak, rings in the air, don't take me higher I'm flipping like never before, Star Wars strike back as my Bible, my claw, diminishing haters One part of the jaw, knock them out for the king of the law, leave them in awe They quick to tell me, chicks, stay in your place, I can't help it